Jira just changed one of its core concepts. Issues are officially out and work items are officially in, but why and how does this affect you? Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value. Don't forget to check out those links down in the description down below for free courses, paid courses, books, memberships, one-on-one -on -one help, all the things, check it out down below. So last year, Atlassian introduced that they were gonna be revamping their UI. But what we didn't foresee was that Atlassian would be essentially changing a very, very core principle of the entire Jira landscape. And that is, up until this point, whenever you interact with Jira, all the items that you create, they're called issues. But that is because issues come from the history of Jira starting out as a bug tracking tool. And when you have a bug, a software bug at least, guess what? That's an issue. And so Atlassian kind of stuck with it. I first hated it back in 2016, but they stuck with the word issues. But here we are in 2025, and the Atlassian of 2025, the Jira of 2025, is a much different Jira than it was back in the early 2000s. And so naturally, Atlassian is trying to appeal to a new demographic, and they are putting enterprise focus high on their list, and the first thing that they're going to do is revamp the entire UI. But the second most important thing that they're going to do is they're going to kick out the word issue and replace it with what I think is a very confusing thing, either work items or tasks. And I'm not sure how the dynamics work. I still don't have it in my Jira, but you're going to get to pick if it's a work item or a task, and it's going to be a much more generic term. So why is Jira doing this? Well, as I mentioned just a few moments ago, Atlassian is really trying to appeal to a wider demographic. Historically, Jira has been the default tool to use for two target audiences. One, you are a software team, or two, you're a team that just wants to use Agile. And both have worked really, really well for Atlassian over the last 20 plus years that Jira has been around but we have basically saturated that market. Jira is the dominant player when you think of software project management tools or when you think of an agile-based project management tool. Jira is the one that comes top of mind, number one in the industry, uncontested, no matter what Monday or ClickUp or Airtable or any of these other competing tools try to tell you, Jira has no competition in this space. But Monday, ClickUp, Airtable, all these other tools that are emerging they have been gaining market share because they appeal to a different demographic and a much larger demographic at that. So at last year, and I got to imagine these fine folks that are running this company must be sitting there and going, how do we change our image? How do we change our brand to not only appeal to these software and agile based teams, but appeal to teams in general, right? And so at last year's answer to this is to essentially lower the barrier, lower the stigma that Jira has to be in a software-based tool and just make it a tool about work. And so thus, we're going to be kicking out issues because that's too technical and we're going to be introducing work items. Now, how does this affect your Jira setup? Well, at first it shouldn't. I've spoken to a couple of people that are close to the matter, folks that are on the inside, if you will, and they have assured me that things are not going to drastically change. Sure, our terminology and our lingo is going to change, but their argument is, does it matter? Does it matter that today you call something an issue and tomorrow you're going to be calling it a work item or a task? Well, I think beauty is in the eye of the beholder and muscle memory is hard to break. So I'll explain this in two different ways. If you're a brand new team, a brand new company, never used Jira before, you're going to come into Jira in 2025 and you're like, okay, we have work items, we have tasks. No big deal. Absolutely, 100%. No big deal because you're new. You are new to the family, so welcome and have fun. Jira is a great tool. But I'm going to speak to the existing customers, the existing user base, the ones that are most likely going to be impacted by this change. And truthfully, as much as my ego hurts, yeah, changing the name from issue to work item isn't going to have any drastic profound effects you just need to be rethinking about how you say the words that you normally say and so really this is going to hurt in my opinion more of the traditional jira admins or the people that just use and live and breathe jira like i do because for so many years for so many decades we have been taught of the jira issue 
And everything is centered around the issue. We have our issue types and our issue type hierarchy. And we have our issue type screen schemes. And we have all this stuff that just revolves around the word issue. And it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a little bit harder to digest. And it's going to take some time to become accustomed to no longer calling something an issue. And it will now forever be, at least until at last and changes their mind again, either a work item or a task. So again, it's going to hurt us, I think, a little bit more. But for regular new users, it's going to be more intuitive, right? It's going to appeal to the masses. And it's pivoting at lasting in the direction that they want to go into at the cost of a very small demographic. Because I don't think that the average user or even, even a seasoned user is really going to care. I think really this is going to be impacting the Jura fans, right? The ones that are tried and true that we've been here since day one. This is what's it's going to impact us the most. But for everybody else, it shouldn't, right? So your workflows, your automations, your JQL queries, your reports, all of that is going to stay the same. Really, it's just our longtime users. We're going to have to pivot. We're going to have to rethink of the way we say issues. And now we're going to have to say tasks or work items. Now, I'm personally a big fan of the word work item. I don't really like tasks because I, there is a task task type, right? And so that's going to get a little confusing, but I do like work items. Um, I like the work items since since I was in TFS land and Team Foundation Server. They use the work items. And so uh, I kind of like that we're going to be having that option. Now, do we need to train our users in the interim or in the short term and even in the long term? I don't think so. I don't think you're going to have to retrain anybody because it's just going to be that muscle memory of, okay, I used to call you an issue and now I'm going to call you a work item. And I think a lot of folks just don't, I mean, so many people just call things like tickets or requests or there's so many names for an issue anyways today natively in our languages. So I think various teams around the world are just going to continue to call this thing what they usually call it. Ticket's my favorite, um, but I think everybody's just going to continue to call it because unless you... Again, we're really, really just diehard on the word issue, which not a lot of people were. Most people that I interact with are always usually calling it a task anyways or a story or a ticket, right? So just the rebranding is not going to hurt, I think, the majority of the population. But again, those Jira admins, we are going to have to be retrained and not necessarily retrained from a technical perspective because there's nothing technical that's changing, but just retraining our minds to basically not think of this as an issue type. And so I think this is a good move from Atlassian, right? I think as Atlassian continues to mature, as Atlassian continues to grow and enter new marketplaces, it makes sense for them to appeal to a general population. It just breaks my heart because Jira is a tool that was really designed with one purpose. And it sucks that it's changing but it's also going to create a new opportunity for so many new people to come into this really, really amazing tool that I love so much. And so I do have to kind of put my put my ego down a little bit and just really suck it up and deal with the fact that these are not going to be called either a work item or tasks. But I think it's for the best. I think in the long term, I think as we continue to evolve and grow the Atlassian ecosystem, I think it's a very smart and important move that Lassian is going to be doing here. I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. I'd rather just leave it issues. I really don't see the big problem. I don't see why people would change it, but it makes sense. And I'm excited to see a new wave of new audiences and new folks coming to learn Jira because it's just simpler and more appealing to them. So anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section what do you think? Do you think you'll be impacted by the renaming from issues to work type or tasks? Do you even care? I'm very, very curious down in the comment section. Let me know. Let your voice be heard. And let's have a conversation down in the comments down below. But while you're down there, make sure you check out those links in the description. I have my link tree where if you need help, I have one-on-one -on -one help available in my link tree. I have also a book, memberships. I have paid courses. I have merch. I have all kinds of different things for you. So make sure you check out that link tree and I'll see you in the next one.